This girl who would constantly say things like, Guys, sorry, I'm so ugly. I just ruined the whole group photo, I'm sorry. And then everyone would automatically comfort her and be like, No, you're beautiful. You shine. And then she would be like, No, but thank you. And she would do the same thing over and over again, trying to get everyone's attention. So eventually, I got tired. So the next time she came to me saying, I'm so ugly, I was like, <laughs> you know what? You are. She was like, what'd you say? And I was like, bitch, if you think you're ugly, I can crop you out of the photo. Okay, so there, there always has to be this one girl in your class that's in online school or whatever, and... She basically just sits in her room, doesn't focus in class, and she just sits in lazy positions. And then she plays with slime and just shows it in camera like, Hun, we know what slime is. No need to show us it. I mean, your slime is pretty, yeah, but we don't, we do not care. Because we are trying to study here. We are trying to do a project here. Can you put that away? But then she gets her mom makeup and then she's like putting it on in front of the camera. And she's like, oh my god, guys, I look so beautiful. I look so cute today. And then she gets her pet and she holds them and shows them in front of the camera. Like, your pet is cute. Yeah, but like... If you're gonna show your pet like 24 seven, no. That's gonna get annoying if you don't know, you know? Like so annoying. And then she just pretends she's studying when she's really not studying. Like she gets a book and she like puts it in front of the camera and she like puts her face near the camera and pretends she's reading like, no hun, you're not doing anything except showing stuff in the camera. Like, no, we don't care. Can you please study? Can you please help us in the project or something? Or, like, what are you doing? And the teacher never calls on that girl. Like, we literally had that one kid in primary school who would literally ruin everything for the class. Like, say if the teacher was doing that one minute in silence thing because we were talking too much um, in the lesson and then we'd lose, like, a minute, a minute of our break time but if someone such as made a sound then like we'd have to start all over again like blah dee blah dee blah there would always be that one kid who thought he was an actual comedian because he kept on making bloody gorilla noises in the one minute of silence and then we'd have to keep on starting the time all over and all over again and this dude just wouldn't stop and he and he and he did even he was not even funny he sounded like a bloody demented goose like are you okay and then we'd get onto the playground and then there'd be these group of boys who were like hella mad and they were like oh my god you lost five minutes of our break time like fight me and then there'd be year six beef and then we'd have that depressing talk with the teacher about how oh my god you're the top of the year like we uh, we like look up to you like you should be better than this the most annoying person that could ever exist is that one kid that asks for homework the teacher would be like all right it's the end of the lesson class dismissed we would all be in a good mood because they forgot about assigning us work. But then, this stupid mother trucker would go like, Uh, miss, what about the homework? <sighs> Benjamin, you little rat. Why would you do that? We got away with not having homework. Ugh. Then, the teacher gives like eight double-sided pages of work to do. Thanks a lot, Benjamin. People in my class are so energetic at like... 8 a.m. in the morning. Okay, they're all laughing, having fun, whilst I look like an ugly rat. They're looking fresh as a daisy, just come out the freaking shower, and I look like, I don't know, I haven't slept in months. I also get cranky in the mornings because they, stupid school, and my alarm interrupted my lovely dream with Shrek. Oh.